Ethics are probably one of the most important aspects of empire creation in Stellaris. They represent your empire's beliefs, political views, and they have a huge impact on how you respond to events and play the game. However, one might argue that vanilla ethics don't really represent all societal and cultural aspects of a nation. And that's why today, we're gonna take a closer look at the Ethics in Civics Bug Branch, a mod created by Bug Behemoth and Corrupted Username. Now, before we start the video, most of my viewers are not subscribed and we are trying to reach 100 subscribers so if you'd like to see more videos like this on my channel please subscribe and like the video now moving on the bug branch greatly expands the ethics wheel and it adds four new ethics axes to the game which represent different ideas and beliefs the anthropocentrism ecocentrism axis represents your empire's relation with the environment are you more focused on industry and harvesting resources without caring about the consequences or do you acknowledge the fact that the environment needs to be protected and you're trying to be more eco-friendly. The Anthropocentrism mythic increases your mineral and food production and gives you additional building slots, while its fanatic version decreases your habitability in exchange for larger bonuses. Meanwhile, Ecocentrism lowers your pop consumer goods, building and district upkeep and increases your habitability. If you pick its fanatic version you will get similar bonuses, however your pop growth speed will be reduced reduced by 10%. The pluralism latest axis is all about social classes and their status. Is everyone equal? Or does a caste system exist within your society? Also, this axis has been removed from the original ethics and civics mod, so if you liked having the ability to determine the social status of your citizens, then this mod brings it back. Pluralism extends your leader pool, reduces your leader upkeep and crime. Its fanatic version allows you to select even more leaders, but at the same same time it increases their cost. Elitism on the other hand extends your leader level cap and leader lifespan. It also gives you a noble job per 30 pops. Its fanatic version gives you even more nobles, extends your leader's lifespan and level cap even further, but at the same time it increases their upkeep by a half. The authoritarian egalitarian axis has also been revamped, with the egalitarian ethic getting replaced by libertarianism. Authoritarianism increases your monthly influence gain and gives you enforcer jobs per 30 pops, while libertarianism increases your faction unity gain and gives you entertainer jobs per 30 pops. And finally the competitive cooperative axis, which focuses on your means of production. Are they privatized or is everything centralized and controlled by the government? The competitive ethic increases your trade value and leader experience gain. Its fanatic version gives even more trade value at the cost of increased crime activity. Meanwhile, the cooperative ethic focuses more on your workers, their happiness and political power is increased, your pop housing usage and empire size from pops is lowered by 10%, and you also receive a small boost to your society research speed. Its fanatic version gives you stronger bonuses, however it also decreases your trade value. Now this is where the bug branch stands out from other ethic mods. It completely overhauls gestalt empires by adding their own version of ethics. It is a really nice addition, because gestalt empires empires get more variety and they no longer have a single ethic to choose from. Gestalt ethics are divided into two categories, form and focus ethics. Form ethics are basically the core structure of the collective consciousness. The affective and passive axis represents your collective's way of decision making, whether they are guided by logic or emotions. The autonomous convergent axis represents the degree of your drone's autonomy from the central consciousness. Is every single drone independent or do they all form a collective. The extrospective introspective axis is kind of similar to the xenophile xenophobic axis. It determines whether your hive mind or machine empire is willing to interact with other nations. Focus ethics as the name suggests represent the current focus of your gestalt empire and they can also be changed during the game with the change consciousness focus edict. Analysis focuses on small picture research such as anomalies, archaeological sites etc. It increases your chances of discovering Covering new anomalies and increases your archaeology and first contact skill. Connection is about keeping your collective consciousness together, it lowers your empire size from pops and increases your monthly unity gain. Convalescence gives you bonuses related to defensive warfare, it increases your home territory fire rate and federation space sublight speed. Encroachment instead gives you benefits to offensive warfare, such as reduced ship upkeep and increased ship fire rate. Logistics makes your internal management 
and supply lines a priority. It boosts your planetary build speed and mega structure build speed by 15%. And the last focus ethic is progression, which focuses on big picture research. It improves your research speed and gives you a research alternative point. Three new authorities have also been added to the game. Group firms are basically democratic megacorps, where the CEO gets selected by the workers. And dynastic enterprises are massive commercial entities, in which the CEO position gets handed for a familial line. It is basically a megacorp version of the imperial authority. You can also pick a new democratic authority, direct democracy. It basically means that the citizens vote to enact new proposed laws and policies in your nation without any elected representatives. The bug branch also adds a bunch of new civics for you to play with. For example, you get governmental civics for specific ethics and authorities. Four advanced civics that are more advanced versions of regular civics with additional ethic requirements and many, many more. So in order to wrap up the video and show you guys some of the civics added by this mod, I created some custom empires. We have the Lightweight Corporation, a research corporation which mainly focuses on ecology, environment, friendly technologies and genetic modification. The Silicron Multisystem, a machine empire originally designed for harvesting resources and rapid expansion no matter the cost. They rebelled against their own creators and they are now on their way to conquer the whole galaxy. The Tebanoran Council, ruled by a council made of religious leaders. Their religion is centered around stars, which are considered to be holy objects and they are worshipped as gods. And finally, the last custom empire that I created, the Thob Knight Death Lords, a purification committee. They have a strong warrior culture and their society is divided into many tribes. And this is only a small fraction of what this mod offers. You can create so many new empires with different combinations of ethics and civics and I can't even imagine creating new nations without it. So go check out the mod on the Steam Workshop and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more mod showcase videos. You can also check out my modded roleplay series if you want to and if you have any suggestions or if you want me to cover a specific mod then leave your suggestions down in the comments. I will see you soon in another video and goodbye.